Um, my name is Namaiwa, I'm an artist, songwriter and composer and I'm coming into my seventh year in the music industry um, and to be fair I love music so much like it's the way I process the world, it's the way I express how I feel to the world um, and yeah it's a blessing to be in the position that I am in. Um, and I'm also the founder of Girl Grind UK which is a company set up to support women, girls and non-binary people. Street Liberty has been running now about 28 years. We opened in September 1993 and we've been predominantly running as a Balti restaurant. Um, we've just gone through a change now because I feel that the British public are ready to have a new flavours and new tastes and have more authentic flavours. So we've just gone through that change now and um, I thought it's about time. Creme was introduced to me by Johur. Johur Odin is a friend of mine and he's been doing some work for Krem for quite some time. He's got a nice relationship with uh, Professor Monda and he wanted to help the Bangladeshi Indian restaurants. So I was on the first cohort for the PY programme last year um, and that was with Punch Records and Krem at Aston and that was sick to be honest with you. Nine month incubator which kind of gave me a really nice uh, creative womb, we're going to call it that, creative space to birth my ideas. So in that space, Girl Grind launched and I took literally every opportunity, sounding out what my ideas um, and I guess just empowering me, just the fact that I could lean on Creme and lean on Punch at that time when, you know, the world was closing down and also at the same time, not a lot of people offering help anyway in the sector. Um, so that was really, really good for me. Um, and yeah, Black Blue Street was kind of filmed in that time, so I was asked to sound score it. So uh, one of my original tracks, Let Me Treat You Right, is one of the opening tracks. And also I contributed to it as uh, a speaker, just speaking about my perspective on how the West Midlands kind of come together, um, what the future of it looks like and how black entrepreneurship kind of moves in the city or lives, especially for me as like a young up and coming artist. Um, and content creator. Okay, so one of the biggest challenges that the Indian restaurant sector is currently facing and has been facing for quite a while is skilled staff shortages. So that's a big problem for us because um, when the industry first started expanding decades ago, there was always an influx of um, people coming to looking for work from Bangladesh, Pakistan or India. So we always had staff available for us to train and to get them to chef level. Since 2011 onwards that that flow stream of um, staff coming in has slowly slowly trickled away to until now it's non-existent and the problem we're facing as well is that um, the third generation uh, Indians in, in the United, United Kingdom these guys are getting a better education they're getting better careers they don't want to be working in the restaurant trade at all. So we're, we're really struggling with staff at the moment. Um, and one of the reasons for my association with Krem is that I want to look at ways of introducing, uh, training, um, integrating non-Bangladeshi or Pakistani people into the industry so that they can come in and they can start learning the cooking process and they can be the future chefs. So that's what I'm looking at and that's what hopefully Krem is going to help, help us provide. 